My name is John Rattray. I'm going to teach you how to do a trick called the river dance. When talking about the river dance and thinking about the river dance, it's really important to remember that it's kind of dumb. It's a dumb trick. I think this move was invented in Milwaukee in the Midwest. It's called River Dance. It's a fast moving footwork move that you do on the coping. It might be referred to as coping dancing. When you do, when you do this move, you, you have to be completely unself conscious. It's pretty dumb. But it's fun just to throw it in every now and again. Just, uh, Get people excited about having a good time. Try and do it smooth. Maybe keep the arms down like the uh, people from the actual river dance. Flatly and all these people. And more serious, you can make your hook. The more serious you can make a facial expression when you're doing the river dance, the greater the glory of the trick. First of all, you're gonna to have to clear your mind of any thoughts of what's cool, what trick's cool or not, because we all know that at the end of the day, nothing is cool. So, in order to do the river dance, you're gonna to learn to do nose stalls first. That's fairly important, because without the basic move of the nose stall, you're pretty much gonna be lost when you're trying this stuff. After you learn to do nose stalls, you're in completely uncharted territory. You're gonna come up to a nose stall, and immediately, you're gonna switch your front foot that's on your nose with your back foot that's on your tail. At this point, a millisecond has passed. You've kicked your front foot out. You're going to need to uh, flip your feet back again, as you can see, like that. Drop in, fakey. There's no real good way of explaining that. You just have to try and slam. Try again until you get it. If you really want to do justice to the trick's name, you're going to want your hands on your hips like this. You know, you might want to make sure that none of your, your buddies are standing right here on the platform. You end up with the skate shoe in the face. You can do it on a curb, do it on a ramp, try and do it down a handrail. Don't recommend it possible. That's all I've got, I think. <laughs>